Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'll be showing you how to add fire spot in your loot tables. So whenever you kill something with fire, it will drop the cooked version of the items that you choose. To get started, I'm going to make the entity. And now this entity is going to be called the butcher. And it's a real quick texture. So I do this quick, just adding some light touches. That's good. Let's do this last bit, and it's gonna be good. And that's done. So this is the skin. Now oh, let's just save. Butcher. And put it into M Creator for others. And now let's make our entity. So piped and this is the skin. We got this, that's good. We want it to be a uh, mob, and that's good. Let's give it 15 HP because I want to kill it fast to show the loot table. And I don't want this to have, I, I don't want this to deal damage or attack anything so that's good and remove this because it's a creature spawn so yeah and that's it now we have a butcher now let's make our custom loot table for the butcher so you need to do this butcher Oh, I accidentally spelt, spelt it wrong. So I'm just gonna copy what I wrote there. Butcher. And then just add a tiny letter at the end which I can change. So mod entity. So this is entity slash butcher. So you have this. So I'm gonna add lots of meat here. So first of all chicken then I'm gonna add the cooked chicken here this is the base loot table if you're gonna like change the code of it soon beef cooked beef mutton and cooked mutton so this is it, I'm gonna have a give lots and that's done. Now save the mod element. Now select the butcher uh, loot table, lock the lock the item, lock the element and go into its code which is over here and now uh, you need to add some code which I will have in the description so this is it so this is for the items that won't be affected so this is for the items which aren't going to be given when the fire is not on uh, let's just copy this I put it into raw chicken so over here So add a comma, go down and insert that. Wait, no. Put a 
remove this and insert that and now it should work so this is the item without the fire so whenever it's not on fire it will drop this item then you need to go down here do the same thing okay so here this is a cooked version so I'm gonna change it's on fire to two so whenever it's on fire and it dies it will drop the cooked item instead so that's basically it now just keep on doing this for all of them so this is normal beef don't need to change that cooked change that to chew and here too and our loot table is done so now just press ctrl s or just save it normally by closing and now run your game and hopefully it should work okay so let's launch the game now and see that it works so there should be butchers like everywhere or book chairs the which I accidentally spelled um they don't appear to be there ok anyways this is not about spawning the mob it's about the loot table and the fire right, so over here so you have this and the skin seems to be messed up, I should have turned it into 30T by 64 so let's kill it yes, it only drops the raw meat and not the cooked one so that seems to be working yep, none of the cooked meat is coming out now I'm gonna enchant it with fire and it should drop the cooked meat instead yes there it is so this is how loot tables work in minecraft and you can use this anywhere but only on entity so and this is a really nice to have to make your mod look more like vanilla just quality of life features Okay, so this is done and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe and see you next time bye